This is CNN Breaking News. Hello again, everyone. I'm Frederica Whitfield in Atlanta. You are in the CNN newsroom. This breaking news, the first American patient with Ebola virus has now landed in the U.S., in fact, in Atlanta at the Dobbins Air Re Reserve base. Uh, his airplane there, as you see in those pictures, landing here. Uh, this is a first ever, and he will be transported to Emory University Hospital, where he will receive treatment. That, too, is a first time ever for that Hospital, Dr. Sanjay Gupta with us now. Uh, you have intimate experience with this Ebola virus, having been in West Africa and seeing firsthand uh, the kind of contact that the medical community has with those patients. And now we're talking about someone who was one of two humanitarian workers yeah. who was in West Africa who contracted the disease, and now he is the first to receive treatment here. This is the first ever, you know, first in Atlanta, first in the United States. This, this particular patient, there was a lot of concerns about a medical evacuation like this. Uh, and would the patients be stable enough, just as healthy enough, if mm -hmm. you will, for the travel? Would they be able to protect the workers who are taking care of the patient and also doing the transport and then figuring out where he was going to go? They figured out that the mm -hmm. patient would come here to Atlanta and go to Emory University. And we are hearing that there were no incidents on the plane. The patient stayed stable throughout. Again, a major concern. And as far as protecting everyone else, it's really uh, qu it's quite extraordinary really, Fred, to look at some of the technology here. You're looking at what we believe is the plane where Dr. Ken Brantley is, is, is located. But if you take a look at some of the images inside the plane, we got some of those images earlier, you get an idea of the, of the type of technology involved. Sort of a, a almost a bubble uh, within the plane, a, a series of tents um, that protects the patient, protects the workers from, from having any bodily fluid whatsoever get on them because this is how this particular infection, this particular virus is transmitted, not through the air, but through bodily fluid. And that, mm -hmm. I mean, Fred, this is something that I, as a doc, I've been a doctor for a long time. I have not seen something quite like this. It's not something that is often used. And we are talking uh, certainly about a medical first mm -hmm. in the United States with this patient. So then we're trying to envision, you've got this plastic tent in the cargo of this plane, and it would seem then the patient along with that plastic tent would have to be removed and then put into whatever, uh, whatever other transport vehicle to take to Emory. But we don't know if that's how they're doing it, do we? We, do, we don't know exactly how they're doing it and, and even what that vehicle is. Is it going to be an ambulance? Is it going to be a helicopter? Is it going to be a portion of that tent? Is it going to be the entire tent? Mm -hmm. But the goal is to basically uh, continue to protect the patient from the other, other patients. And So now we're told these are live pictures of the ambulance, which indeed, you know, by ground is transport him so clearly that tent wouldn't have fit in it inside may, that may, ambulance fit in the back of the ambulance or you know some version mm. of the tent my guess is there's still a, a very very stringent infection protocol in the back of that ambulance yeah. over there as well yeah. um, you know <laughs> I think one of the reasons they hadn't told us about whether this wasn't gonna be an ambulance or a helicopter because they didn't want to create a fuss People around this careful. and they were yeah, they, they this is Ebola now traveling to the city of Atlanta I think the risk of any kind of infection to the citizens is, is infinitesimally mm -hmm. small but um, that, but you know, just just again, historically mm -hmm. almost from a medical standpoint, that's a first. Yeah. Now, what about for the medical team? Those who are driving the ambulance, those who are flying the plane, what kind of precautions would have to be taken to protect them? Well, the, the big precaution is is trying to isolate the patient within that. You know, again, see, we call it a tent, call it a bubble, whatever mm -hmm. it is that you want to call it. I, I don't know if the pilots, for example, of plane were also in bio contamination suits mm -hmm. or just the healthcare workers. And that's something what. that you wore when you were in West Africa and mm -hmm. we saw images of that. That's right. When I was there, I, I, I wore that same sort of bio uh, suit it, and basically the goal is to, to cover every square inch of your body. Mm -hmm. No skin showing, no way that this uh, any droplets of fluid could get anywhere on your skin because the thing is we all have breaks in our skin and that's, that's one of the things about Ebola. If it get, lands on a break in your skin, even on your hands, it could potentially cause an infection, a small amount of fluid, which is why the extraordinary